Hey guys, welcome back. Happy gym day to you. We are going to uh, start out today with a fitness workout where we are going to do an exercise for 40 seconds continuously and then you're going to take 20 seconds as a rest. Okay, so for this you're going to need something to keep track of time, whether that's a watch like Coach Wiz has or maybe you use like an iPad or a clock on the wall to time yourself, set a timer so you know when 40 seconds is up and then when your 20 seconds rest is up, okay? Before we start, I'm gonna go through each workout that we're gonna do. We're gonna do them one time each. So we're gonna do this for one round. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can repeat this after we're done, okay? So I'm gonna go through all the exercises so you guys know what we're doing, and then we'll get started. First exercise that we're gonna do is push-ups on our knees. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate these one at a time as I go. On your knees, walk your hands forward. You can cross your feet if that makes it a little bit easier. Then the elbow down and up. That's push-ups. That's the first exercise we're gonna do. The next one is butt kickers, okay? So you are gonna stand at your side. You're gonna run in place. You're gonna work to kick your bottom just like this, okay? Kicking our bottom just like that, okay? Next one is a full plank, except we're gonna rotate our arm up and do what's called arm circles while we do a full plank. So watch Coach Wiz. Okay. I get in my full plank, right arm off, so we're working on our balance. Then I come back down to full plank, switch arms each time. Okay, just like this. All right? So that's full plank with the circles. Next one, excavators which is you're going to stand feet shoulder width and I'm going to push off one foot and try to slide, hop as far this way as possible and I keep going back and forth, okay? Pressure on one foot, one leg, explode to the other side. Those are ice skaters. Next one's crunches. Laying on our back. Feet up, you can cross your arms, go behind your head. Shoulders should come off the ground when I do a crunch. Next one's jumping jacks. We've been doing these, so we should be good with those. Feet together, arms at our sides. Jump out, just like this, okay? And then the last one that we'll do is supermans. So, supermans are just gonna lay down like we're flying over City of Solon, up, up, feet, legs, arms all come off the ground. That's super nice. Okay? So, we've got push ups, butt kickers, full plank with arm circles, ice skaters, crunches, jumping jacks, Superman. So, we've got seven exercises. We're going to do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Then move on to the next exercise, okay? Let's get ready to go. If you need to take a sip of water before we get started, let's get ready. I'm gonna set my watch as a timer so I can check to see how much time's gone by. If you need to set your timer, you can do so now. We'll start with push-ups. Ready. All right, Roxbury, let's start this off the right way. Ready? Go. Halfway there. Okay, that's 40 seconds. Take a rest for 20. Next one is where we're jogging in place, kicking our bottom. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go.
hands. You need to move your arms while you do this too, just like you're running outside. Get those legs up. Five seconds. And rest. Woo! Good job. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Next one is going to be full plank with the arm circles. Starting in 10 seconds. Ten seconds. Rest. Whew. All right. It's a great workout. Ice skaters next. Five seconds. Whew. Get ready to work hard. Here we go. Ready? Going ten seconds. Ah, uh, last one. Good job. Quick break. All right, now we got crunches. Five seconds. That one was kind of tough. All right, jumping jacks. We got two more exercises starting in 10 seconds. Whew. Nice deep breath. Here we go. Jumping jacks. Go in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, awesome. We got one more left. Supermans, you guys can do it. Make this your best one.
Okay. Awesome job. You guys did great. Those workouts are awesome because we get high intensity workout for about 40 seconds, but then you still get that 20 seconds rest before you move on to the next one. So I love building workouts like that. You can do those on your own too. Think of any exercise that we've done, push-ups, jumping jacks, all the ones we did today, maybe some other ones like squats or squat jumps, and you do them for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. It's a great way to mix up getting some high interval training with the right amount of rest as well, okay? Hit pause on the video, grab a drink of water, come back ready for the activity. Okay, great job with that workout. We're gonna continue on today with an activity and we're gonna talk a little bit about rolling today, okay? So we think about what we've done so far. We've done tossing, we've done overhand throwing, we've done catching. Last couple of weeks we did striking objects. Now we're gonna talk about rolling a ball, okay? So I like these um, ones for rolling, okay? And those of you that have had Coach Wiz in class before know that we use these to play a lot of our games that involve rolling a ball. Most importantly, pinball, which is a lot of everyone's favorite game to play that will hopefully we get to play at some point soon. But we're going to talk a little bit about rolling a ball, okay? And when I think of rolling a ball, I think of one sport in particular, and that is bowling, okay? And if you see these pins... Okay, you guys probably know what these are for, or you see these at a bowling alley, okay? And so when you bowl, your goal is that you're trying to roll a ball to knock down the pins, okay? So when we do this, it's a lot different than tossing or throwing, okay? But some things are the same. We're stepping to a target, and we're trying to get a ball to a certain area, okay? So... I'm gonna talk a little bit about how we roll a ball, and then I'm gonna give you some ideas of how you can practice this and play games at home, okay? First things first is that you need to get a ball, okay? This one's nice because it's squishy, so it's not gonna break anything. Uh, if you find um, some sort of softer ball that rolls, that's perfect. Okay, a soccer ball would work. Maybe you wanna do that uh, in a basement or outside if you can do that, but some sort of ball that you're allowed to roll, okay? And then the next thing you need to find are objects to roll it to. So a lot of you probably do not have pin pins like Coach Wiz. So you need to think about some things around your house that you could use. Perfect, perfect thing to use would be some empty bottles if you have them. Maybe like a milk carton or a pop bottle, something empty so that we don't spill them, okay? And you can set these up just like I have my pin set up. So any type of object like this that'll stand that you're allowed to roll to, we don't want to put anything valuable that we're trying to roll and knock over, okay? But empty bottles are perfect, okay? And then when we, when we talk about rolling, the first thing that we need to do is talk about how we start. So Coach Wiz is standing right here, okay? And I'm trying to roll the ball to these pins. The first thing I need to do is get in a good position to roll. Now, because we're rolling on the ground, we need to bend down and get closer to the ground when we do this, okay? If I stand straight up and try to roll, the ball is gonna bounce. And a lot of times it'll bounce over where we're trying to roll. So, I need to get low to the ground. I'm gonna step with my opposite foot. That is the same that we did for our underhand toss and overhand throw. I'm going to step and I'm going to bring the ball. Notice I'm down here and I'm going to let go lower to the ground. Remember a toss, I was up here. When I roll, step, roll the ball to knock down a pin. Okay? I like to roll with one hand, my dominant hand. If you're using a bigger ball and you want to roll with two hands, you can do that. If you need to put it, you can put it between your legs like this, bend down, roll just like that. Okay? So the biggest difference is if you're rolling with two hands, the ball is going to be in the middle of your body. 
if you're rolling with one, it's going to be on the side. So I'm a righty. So if I was rolling with one on my side, the ball's going to be on my right side, stepping with my left foot. If you're a lefty, left side, I'm stepping with my right foot. So I step with the opposite foot. Okay? So, rolling the ball to the pins. Perfect game for you guys to play. So, a good idea for a game, set up a bunch of pins or bottles, whatever you're using. And you can set up however many you would like. Let's say you set up 10, okay? Set up 10 pins or 10 bottles or five, and you give yourself two chances to roll and knock them all down. So you're kind of like simulating a bowling game here. If you have a brother or sister, mom or dad want to play against you, you could count to see how many bottles or pins you knock down in two rolls and then compare it to how many they knock down, okay? If you knock them all down on the first roll, that is called a strike. If it takes you two times to knock them all down, that's called a spare. So that's some bowling lingo for you to learn, okay? So you can get all excited. If you roll them and knock them all down on your first one, you can yell out, strike! Okay, so that's being an expert bowler. All right, so you can do that. You, you can think about games that we've played. Uh, first graders would know if the pinball games that we've played in the past, okay, where you're trying to knock a pin down before someone else knocks yours down. If you have a lot of room and space and you can play against someone, you can take one pin... put it on your side, they can put it on their side, and obviously they would be way further apart than Coach Wiz has them, but just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And you get maybe like three or four of these balls, and you try to see who can knock down the pin first by rolling it. We're not throwing right now, we're just rolling on the ground, okay? So rolling's a very important uh, motor movement to talk about, and it involves a lot of aim. If you do not step to where you're rolling, and you step one way or the other, it's really hard to roll in a straight line. You want to make sure that you step with your opposite foot when you do this. Okay? So, I want you to hit pause on the video. I want you to find a ball. I want you to find some pins. And I want you to find some space that you have that's safe to do this. If it's in your house, make sure it's in a safe space. If it's outside, perfect. You could spread out. Driveways are probably perfect for this because the surface is good to roll. Okay, better than probably grass would be, but you could make it work if you need to. But I want you to practice first some rolls back and forth. If you have someone to roll with, perfect. Practice rolling back and forth. Okay, then you can add in the pins. Try to roll down and knock down the pins. Okay, and then if you have someone to play with, you can play a game of pinball where you're trying to knock down a pin before they knock down yours. Or you could play that bowling game where you're setting up pins and you're trying to roll the ball to knock down as many pins as you can in two rolls and you can go against somebody else. You could also work with a person to see if your roll and their roll, both of you could knock down all the pins together. Okay? But I definitely want you to get some rolling practice in today. So that way, when you guys come back, those of you that are coming back to school, which I'm so excited about, we have already done a lot of these ball movements, motor movements, where we're tossing, throwing, striking, rolling, and so that we're ready to roll when you get back, okay? Bad joke by Coach Wilson. All right, awesome job today. Great job with the workout. Hit pause on this video and go get some rolling in, pins, and the ball be safe. Hopefully see you guys soon. Great job.